So it's really great to have Dr. Karen Johnson here with us today. As many of you know, Dr. Johnson is a distinguished alum of the College of Nursing. She earned her PhD from us in 1999. And she's been recognized for her leadership and her commitment to excellence in nursing education, scholarly practice, and a desire to contribute to the community at large. Currently, Dr. Johnson is the director at Banner University Medical Center in Phoenix, Arizona, running that research enterprise. So thank you for your time today. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here and an honor to be here. Great. So I'm going to start off with some real hard questions. Oh. So the first question is, when did you first know you wanted to be a nurse researcher? You know, it was actually here uh, when I was a, uh, I had a joint appointment. I was a clinical nurse specialist in the trauma ICU. Uh, at the medical center and I had a faculty appointment here where I taught undergrad critical care and I was in the unit and the nurses wanted to do a study looking at different methods for endotracheal suctioning and I at that time I had a my, my master's degree I had done one research project before this and the nurses really wanted to do this um, study and I needed help so I came over and Luckily, the faculty just embraced me, and I'd knock on their door and say, how would you design this? And I'd knock on their door and say, how would you analyze this? So they were so wonderful and so supportive uh, of helping me and the staff do this research study that we eventually got published in Critical Care Medicine, and I got the bug. I wow. got the research bug. And it was really the faculty here that really helped me. And at that point, I realized I want to do research, and I need help because I don't know what I'm doing. And it was really that one study that I did here. Um, and I decided to um, come back and, and really learn more about research and how to do research and how to help nurses do research. So was that your first publication, Karen, was in critical care medicine? Yes. Wow, yeah. that's really great, yeah. that's great. So let me shift gears here a little bit. Okay. Tell me what keeps you awake at night in terms of your mm -hmm. worries as a nurse leader. Yeah, so what keeps me awake at night is the next generation of nurse researchers who want to help clinical nurses do research. That um, are we building those clinical nurses that can help staff nurses um, do research. You know, if you look at my CV, you'll see my program of research includes all different kinds of patient populations and nurses and you think well she's just been all over the place she doesn't have a program of research but my program of research has been about helping clinical nurses base their practice on science and on evidence so how can we build more generalist nurse researchers who are interested in that kind of research building on their own program of research, but yet still mentoring and being that generational leader um, to create that next generation of our nurse researchers that will help our clinical nurses um, conduct research and, and have their practice based on, on science and evidence. That's great, that's great. So what vision do you have? I mean, that may be part of mm -hmm. your restlessness at night, yeah. you know, keeping you awake, but if you would be thinking about your vision for that next step, and we both have that common um, love for the American Association of Critical Care Nurses, yeah. um, what, what would you say? You served on the board of directors. Mm -hmm. um, was there anything that you just wish you had a little bit more time to help see move forward? I wish I had more time because it was such a fabulous learning opportunity for me. I uh, went on to the board. First of all, I think what I regret is my first year being on the board, having that imposter syndrome. Mm -hmm. What am I doing here with these incredible, incredibly talented nurses? So after I got through that first yeah. year of that imposter yeah. syndrome, um, you know, I. What I would like to say about that is I learned so much from being on a national board. I would highly recommend that people do that as a growth and learning experience. I joined it because I wanted to give back to the organization that had given me mm. so much. Yes. And I got so much more 
that they gave me in terms of learning, um, in terms of thinking, strategic thinking, generative thinking, learning what a nonprofit board does, learning how to keep out of the operations mm -hmm. of an organization, and really help create that vision for our future, for our community of nurses. Um, so I got so much more mm -hmm. given from being on the board than I, uh, than I thought I could give to them. Oh, that's great. It's a fabulous experience. Yes. It's really one that all um, nurse yes. leaders should yes. engage yes. in and, and have the courage to, to run. Yes, yeah, I agree. So tell me this. Um, if you were to wave a magic wand, okay, and there's one thing that you would like to change in the nursing profession, mm -hmm. what would it be? That our science, that our intervention, that our practice are based on evidence. That if we could, everything that we do in our nursing practice is based on research, is based on evidence, and we would be so strong, that'd be my magic wand. Mm -hmm. And how do you inspire that next generation? What is it that you've learned that resonates with your students mm -hmm. to get them excited about nursing science? Yeah, so I really, um, I think my passion comes out when I talk to clinical mm -hmm. nurses uh, about research. Sometimes they think research is something that somebody else does and it's really helping them to engage and learn that it's something you can do too, mm -hmm. something that you can participate in. And really I work to find their, what, the, what are they passionate about? And really asking them the, the questions about what they want to change in their practice um, so that the research is meaningful to them. Um, so that's really how I do it and um, I just let my passion shine. So your model, Johnson Oxygenation uh -huh. model, started here, yes. the College of Nursing, with yeah. your PhD journey. Yeah. Is that what you're thinking that perhaps you would like to see be your legacy yeah. or is it bigger than that? It's bigger than that. Um, it's, you know, uh, the. The conceptual model for oxygenation is in the High Acuity um, book, um, which I believe is on its seventh edition. Um, and so I am very happy that that is how we teach students to learn about oxygenation. Um, but I think broader it's about the, the number of nurses that I have taught. I actually counted it a couple of uh, years ago and um, almost 4,000 nurses. Oh, wow. So I am proud of that and I'm really proud of um, how many nurses I've engaged in mm -hmm. research. Mm -hmm. um, and we have, working at Banner, I can create large teams of mm -hmm. researchers and we'll have 12 and 15 nurses on the project because it's multi-site. Mm -hmm. so we can include a lot of nurses because they're the co-eyes at each of the site. So getting more nurses uh, involved, how many nurses I've led and mentored in research and how many nurses I've led and mentored um, as students, that's really my legacy. That's great. Well, it's just been a real honor to yeah, have you here you. with us. I could not think of a more deserving alum to be a recipient of the Dr. Karen uh, Sexton and Dr. Diana Weaver lectureship. So thank you so much thank for being you. with us. Thank you. It's my honor to be here.